A father of four is arrested in a drug and weapon raid in Atlantic Beach. 33-year-old Daniel Sakura faces several drug charges and a $12,000 bond. It's the latest arrest in several drug raids throughout the Atlantic Beach community this year. Tonight, our Shelby Danielson speaks to a local detective and that suspect's father, who says he cannot afford to bail his son out of jail right now. You may find it surprising, but undercover officers have been through this quiet Atlantic Beach community. In fact, it was an undercover detective who came through and bought drugs from this suspect. But it was a traffic stop that ultimately caught Daniel Socorro. He was leaving his home early Thursday morning with his three young children with him. It doesn't it doesn't take long to, you know, figure out that when there's 40 or 50 cars coming down a dead end street that there's something going on on your street. Maybe somebody finally knows what was going on. Neighbors in Atlantic Beach are aware that not every home here can be trusted, no matter what they look like on the outside. People from all walks of life use and sell drugs. Former so. investigator Kim Varner knows this area well. I won't say it's uncommon. Normally you don't see kids in a house where they're selling like that. Looking over the items seized by police, he says he's not surprised. Guns and drugs just go together. If you're in the business of selling drugs, you, you uh, normally you, you carry weapons to protect yourself. Some people carry them for basically for protection. And guns this suspect had. This is a multi-capacity round. I don't know how many that holds. It probably holds in excess of 100 rounds. Daniel Sakura is now in jail. His wife is still at home with their four children, the youngest about nine months old. They recently just moved in with his dad to help take care of his mom who was suffering from congestive heart failure. Matter of fact, he was doing CPR on her when the ambulance arrived, when uh, she passed. So. He insists his son is a good person, but doesn't excuse his behavior. He was brought up, you know, you do the time, you do the time. You're going to be held accountable for your actions. I mean. What are you going to do? You know, you, you got to live life day at a time and move forward. And we did knock on the door. There is someone who's home right now. They declined to speak with us. Reporting in Atlantic Beach, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side. The Department of Children and Families tells us they are investigating the situation for the kids. And coming up tonight, new at 6, Shelby talks to one of the suspect's neighbors who was recently arrested in a drug bust and has since changed his ways, he says.